What's up guys and welcome back to some more Car Mechanic Simulator 2021. It is officially release day. The game is officially out and uh, that means we've got some new DLC already. That's right, day one DLC. This game is insane. So they added in some Nissan options as well as the electric car DLC. So I know we're going to have some Teslas. Maybe we'll have some, I, I don't know, Rivians or Fiskers or who, who knows what they're going to have. I honestly didn't look too much into it because I wanted it to be a surprise. But uh, let's get into it, man. Starting off, this this one, this is a story mission and it came in and it, it like, it was one of those ones that had like five things that were listed wrong and then the rest you had to figure out. I've almost figured everything out except for five parts. And I, I, I've run every test, I've used every tool, I've looked over this thing, just every nook and cranny, tried to look for any piece of rust that we could. I even noticed that you can kind of like phase through the engine. Ooh, the clutch plate. The clutch plate has got to go. I actually just found something and I can't believe it. No, no way. Okay, we're going to have to take the front. We're going to have to take the tires off and everything else. But okay, I'm, I'm going to keep working on this. This is kind of what I'm working on off screen just to, you know, kind of grind, try to make some money. Let's not get ourselves in a similar situation as yesterday where we ran out of money and let's start working on some new vehicles. So right here, we've got a Tesla Model 3. Now the electric car DLC is not like an officially licensed thing. So obviously this is a, a bit of a bootleg Tesla here. But very obviously a Tesla Model 3. These things are amazing. Just incredible, incredible cars. And uh, let's go ahead and send it into car lift A. We're going to see what we've got going on and see if we can't, uh, can't fix this thing up. So I'm going to go ahead and put it up on the lift. Can't look at orders yet. I actually do want to take a look at the orders. I want to make sure we aren't missing an R35. Nar Ooh, Nissan Fairlady Z. Okay. The Datsun, that actually wouldn't be bad, but we can't take any more right now. So let's let's just hurry up and get through this thing. So we've got suspension rattling. There's going to be a, uh, a part not discovered. There's also an outer tie rod that we need to uh, need to fix. Oh, the tie rods for the suspension rattling. Car's hard to control. It's for the part not discovered. Okay. So let me, uh, I'm assuming we're going to have to move this all the way up. It's a good thing we've got two different bays here so we can really work on this stuff. Where's that, uh, the inner tie rod's gonna be somewhere right in here, right? Outer tie rod, okay, so we're gonna take the tire off. Beautiful work. Obviously, a little bit easier on the electric side of things because we're not gonna have any, you know, combustion parts. There's not gonna be an engine we're gonna have to fix or anything like that. We're just gonna be able to do our thing. Let's take this outer tie rod off. Go ahead and remove that. And we gotta be careful, you guys can see, we don't, uh, We've got 1300 credits so we don't we don't necessarily have a lot of credits we need to make sure that we're we're being smart and we aren't running into a uh, a bit of a, a bad situation like we did yesterday so we're going to come back here we go ahead and add this part we're going to add this outer tie rod in go ahead and put that back on and we should be able to throw the uh the wheel back on here so that's going to take care of that now we just need to worry about the car being hard to control what do we think would be the culprit of that? The first thing that we can do is use our additional tools. I'm going to go ahead and use all of our scanners. I'm going to try all of our, our different things. We're going to get some XP from this as well. You guys could see we're, we're checking all the electric things right here, which I, cars hard to control. I don't think any of our tools are going to find what's wrong with this. We may as well use these just to be able to get the... Uh, oh, you can't even do a compression test in an electric vehicle. That makes sense. But um, it's got to be some sort of a shock or a... I was going to say like a sway bar, but I don't think that's right. Like I, It's got to be something to do with the steering. Oh, outer tie rod over here. That's it. I, I was going to say, I'm going to look through. I'm going to look for some uh, some rust and stuff. But I guess, I guess it's as simple as that. We're going to be able to just go ahead and take this wheel off. We're going to be able to remove this outer tie rod. We're going to have to buy a new one. It should already be pulled up on the computer over here since we bought one. I guess we're going to keep that in mind in the future. You know, if we've got an issue on one side, it could be this, the same issue over on the other side. So we're going to add this tie rod back. One little nut on there. Add the tire on. Five little nuts in there and we're going to be good to go. Looks like we got her done. Okay, she's all good to go. Send her out of here. We made 60 bucks from that. Not really all that much, but uh, we'll take it. Let me let me go take a look at our phone here, see what we've got going on. 
Uh, ooh, the original Tesla. Poor brake performance. Okay, we're, we're going to take a Tesla Roadster here. Why not? Look at this thing, dude. It's kind of a Tesla Roadster. It's kind of like a, it, it looks like a, a bit of like a Lotus almost or like an Alfa Romeo in the front. So we're going to have four parts not discovered. Dude, I, I, ugh. poor brake performance though. That should be easy enough. And then refill the windscreen fluid. So windscreen fluid is going to be right here. Let's just go ahead and add to this. So this is an electric vehicle here. This, this is based off the, the Tesla Roadster. So we worked on a couple of Teslas. To be honest, bring me more Teslas, man. Way less intense than, than what I'm used to. So we're going to put this thing all the way up. We're definitely going to need some new pads. And discs and all kinds of stuff here. So this should be nice and easy. Let's just go ahead and time lapse it. Let's go through and take all these brake pieces off. Brakes are easy. Anything with an engine is hard. So one thing that's interesting is you can kind of see if you're going to need to change the brake pad based on the front, based on the writing on the front. It gets a little bit of wear on the front. So like that one looked like it had some wear. This one has much less. So I think, I think this one's going to be the one that we're going to need to change the pad. And obviously when it's underneath the caliper and everything, it's a little bit tougher to see. I can see now that we're a little bit closer, you can see some rust down there, but it's, it's just, I, I noticed that, that. You're not only looking for the rust, but the front side is, is kind of easy to tell as well, which is uh, it's just a nice little clue. So we're going to add a brake pad there, sell that. Let's come over here, take a look at our shopping list. We're going to buy that one pad. Okay. One caliper. One brake disc ventilated. I think that's going to be everything. That felt like it wasn't as much as we took off, but maybe, maybe we're right. The ventilated disc on there. Do we have everything we need? Yeah, I guess we do. I guess some of the parts we took off weren't, weren't bad yet. So that's, that's why I was thinking we didn't have enough on there, but uh, okay. Final tire is going to be going back on. Sell beautiful, made $500 there. That's what I'm talking about. Let's, uh, let's see what we've got going on over on the phone, on the telly. We do have the fair lady Z. We've got a list provided of timing parts and it's got sloppy car steering. I think, I think I'm going to hold out. I'm just nervous a GTR is going to show up. I'm going to take the order, whatever. We got to keep it rolling, baby. Dude, these things are beautiful. If I was to have an old school Nissan, I think it'd be an R34. There's no doubt about that. But uh, this would be a close second. I just, I, I love the look of these things. So let's go ahead and move you into our second car lift. Let's see what we've got going on. We've got a list provided as well as some steering stuff we're going to have to figure out, obviously. This is a, uh, a combustion engine here, so it's going to make things a little bit tougher for us. Let's see what your list is looking like. Timing chains, water pumps, water pump pulleys. So I'm going to star all those. And then we've got two parts on the sloppy car steering that we're going to have to figure. Oh, oh, it opens up forward like that. Okay. So we're looking, uh, we're looking to, to get, to get into there. Hmm. We've got those two things there. So I'm going to take the radiator fan off. Here we go. We're getting... Getting into uncharted territory. This is a real old school engine. We've worked on quite a few newer school vehicles. So this is this is going to be kind of cool. Let's take the serpentine belt off. Going to be able to take the water pump pulley off. Hmm. Going to be able to take the water pump off. Do we have to drain the water pump? We're about to find out. Yep. You got to drain the water pump. All right. Probably, probably could have told you that there, Trev. So we need, uh, the timing cover needs to come off. Maybe I'm going to take the ignition wires off. That's going to allow us to get the engine head cover off. So if you guys, I, I, I did see some, some comments. I appreciate you guys. Uh, if you notice when we highlight something we want to get to, like when it's not quite available yet, it'll highlight other parts in red that we have to take off first. So let me get to this. When I highlight this timing chain, it says, what is it highlighting? I'm just going to start pulling. I'm going to start pulling things off because we need to be able to see better. There we go. That, that looks a little bit better. So we've got the timing chain highlighted there. I'm going to take off the alternator. I'm going to take off the arm. I think we need to take this cover off eventually. Got to take off the distributor. Got to take off the clip. There's a second clip on this side. That's going to be able to take off the distributor cap. 
There's no way we should be having to do this. What what is blocking this? It's like this should be highlighting. Oh, I see. I see something red in there. Hold on. That's. We need to take the timing chain shoe off, which means we need to take this off. Which okay, we're on we're on the right track here. We were we were right. It's gonna be a long, a long and tedious process, but we're gonna get there. We're gonna be fine. Just at least we're wasting time and not money. We got plenty of time, not a lot of money. We're gonna be able to take the timing chain shoe off, and then that's gonna allow us to get to this this chain. Got the timing chain. Beautiful. Okay. So we're gonna take a look here. Let's get rid of our shopping list. We're gonna look. We need a timing chain and a timing chain shoe. I'm gonna come in here. We're gonna see if we can buy these guys. We're also gonna need the water pump and the water pump pulley. So I'm gonna sell all those. We might as well buy these while we're here. So we're gonna buy a new water pump, new water pump pulley. And now we're gonna have to go back in and we're gonna have to have to redo everything that we just did. So let's start with the timing chain here. And then we're gonna put that shoe on. Beautiful. I hate the rate the radiators. We should have taken the radiator out, but then we gotta drain it and then we gotta refill it. And it's gonna cost us money and stuff. So I'm not gonna do all that. I'm gonna put the timing cover back on. Got a bunch of screws here. Get all these guys. Then we're gonna start putting that uh this thing over here, the ignition distributor. Don't ask me what a lot of these things actually do. I would assume this distributes the ignition, you know, kind of helps start the car-ish, maybe. Gonna put some clips on. Clip B and clip B. Gonna be able to put the water pump back on. Wish we wouldn't have spilled. It's crazy it cost me 50 bucks for a spill. I feel like that's a little, a little excessive if you ask me. I mean, I got, I got a roll of paper towels over in the corner. We could easily just kind of handle it, but uh, sure. Just just keep keep charging me for little things. That's how we're going to end up running out of money. Hopefully, this is a pretty good payday, though, because we did have to take off quite a quite a few pieces here. I love that these are actual, like, real OEM, you know, original from manufacturer parts and pieces though. Like we're actually working on a Nissan engine right now. This this is actually what it would look like. All these parts are done. We're all good to go. We just, we have to finish. What's the next part? Oh, 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 hold on. It's this part. The arm. Ah, you're kind of a tricky little guy. Kind of hard to see, but that's going to allow us to add the alternator. And then we're going to be able to add the belt. And then we're going to be able to add the fan back on. And we're going to be good to go. Back into the radiator fan. Four long bolts here. I've learned that if you just hold down the mouse button it, it and you can move it around, it kind of keeps it going. Okay, so let me check my, my inventory here. Got brake calipers, throttles, and cylinders. I, uh, the throttle, we actually might need those for this thing. I'm not going to sell those yet, but um, okay, cool. So we're going to close the hood. We're going to have to get this thing up on the lift, and we've got... A steering issue, right? Is that what it was? I'm pretty sure it's sloppy car steering. So I'm gonna look. I'm gonna look for the tie rods. I'm gonna look for anything that could be rusted out. Steering is gonna be. It, it's gonna be up front, obviously. Hmm. We didn't run any tests on it, so let me let me go ahead and use our additional tools. It's not going to have an OBD. I'm just going to run everything on it just to, to get the XP and see if it reveals anything. I don't think it will, but it's going to be something up front. It's going to be something with those front two, front two things. I think I see in the bottom right right there, actually. No, maybe I'm crazy. The lower suspension arm looked like it had a bit of an issue. Going to look in here. Everything there looks good. That air filter, I keep seeing it and it's all bright red, so it makes me think that there's something wrong. We gotta look at the bushings. The bushings are are always an issue. Lower suspension arm looks good. Oh! Oh! The spring plate! The spring plates are bad, and this the spring U-bolt. Okay, I, I would have figured it was something in the 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 front, because that's you know where your steering comes from, but I the leaf spring plate and the, the U thing above it. This one's good on this side because there are only two parts left. Let me let me double check that we got that. Yep, that's it. Okay, we're going to go in, add these, sell them, sell them. We're going to be able to buy these from the shop and, and boom, we're all good to go. Okay, so 
Got to be thorough. Got to look across everything. I, I genuinely didn't think it'd be in the back, in the rear, but um, looks like it was. We're going to add this leaf spring plate back. We're going to be able to add these two bolts back. And that is going to be a job well done. That's what I'm talking about. All right. You are, uh, you're good to go. Let me go ahead and finish the order. Just kidding. Coolant's missing. All right. We're going to have to bring this thing back down. Put some coolant in it because your boy spilled it all over the shop. But that's fine. It happens. So the coolant is going to go in here in the radiator. Go ahead and top you off here. Wouldn't want your engine to overheat. It's a hot one out there. It's a hot summer, isn't it? It's, it's been real. It's, it's been a doozy. Okay. Coolant's in there. It's going to charge me a bit more for that. We're going to be able to send that thing out the door. $500 down. All right, let me see. I'm looking for an R35. I've got another Tesla there. I'm looking for an R35. I want an R35. I'm waiting for an R35. Ooh, now we're talking here. A 370Z Nismo. Okay, I like this. Look at this bad boy. You've got all the red accents on there. Woo! This thing's from Malta? That's interesting. I feel like we're a, a long way from Malta here on, on Route 66, but uh, all right, we're going to move this thing into car lift B and let's get it going. So it pretty sure it said that it, we were going to have like a, a full list of, um, of issues that was wrong with it. Man, this thing is beautiful. I've always loved the 350s, 370s, the, just such an iconic sports car here. So let's see what we've got going on. Refill the brake fluid. That's it. Okay, he's just, he's coming in for some brake fluid. So that's going to be back here in the, the back right. We're going to look at the brake, brakes. Oh, uh, I obviously didn't mean to take that off. We're going to get charged 50 bucks for that. Are you kidding me? Why was there no screw or anything that we had to unmount to be able to do that? I, I meant to switch to my, my drain. By the time I realized it, we were already taking it off and we were done. Okay, we got absolutely screwed on that one. Let's go ahead and finish it. We lost $25. 25 credits in total on that. But hey, at least we got some XP. We should have run our tests on it. That's one thing we have to start doing is running tests on everything. All right, I'm declining all orders that aren't an R35. Unless it's something new, like a cool new Nissan car. But all orders that aren't an R35, you're getting shot down. I do this. I, I'm, I'm lost. I... I'm thinking we might want to think about taking the engine block out on this one. So we're back on this like eclipse thing here. Um, I, I can't find the last two parts. So we're, we're looking, we're looking for last three parts. I'm sorry. There are three parts that aren't discovered. If you look at the, the customer's description, it says they basically been having a really hard time. Nobody can figure it out. They've been, you know, given the runaround and stuff. So I want to be a good, honest mechanic. I want to fix it for them. Uh, problem is still it boils down to the constant banging it's unbearable also the gearbox isn't working properly after the last repair so i did fix like the clutch and the flywheel and stuff like that it's all very very expensive so that's the like the, the gearbox issues should be all good to go I, I just i feel bad they're saying this is the last chance for the car if it doesn't do the trick i'm gonna have no other no other option but to get rid of it so i think banging could be it and that made me think like possibly you know, like a, a radiator fan or something, but the fan looks good. I've looked through every nook and cranny of this thing. I mean, they're like, there's some rusty screws here. There's some rusty screws back here and right there, but I don't, I don't think those actually have anything to do with anything. You know, you're gonna have rust on a vehicle. All the while we're doing this, I'm checking our orders and we aren't getting any GTRs, not getting any R35s, which is what I'm really hoping for. Uh, we've already replaced all the bushings. I know that's like kind of a sneaky thing. It's nothing to do with the brakes or anything like that. I've checked the suspension. I'm thinking if there's banging, it could be something to do with like the pistons. Maybe one of the pistons is busted because that was something that we actually, we, we had piston with Conrad issues. So maybe there's some sort of a piston issue, but there's like, you can, you can kind of, if you finagle it, if you choose the right part, you can kind of look in the engine here without taking it all the way apart. And the pistons look good. Like these guys, there's nothing on this one. And then even like the spring looks good. Looks good there. Looks good there. That one looks good as well. We can see down into the shafts. I don't see. Oh, oh, oh. Crankshaft bearing cap. We have two of those. 
I think we've got... Oh, fellas. Hold on a second. I think I may have found it. All right, let me let me get this over. Unfortunately, we're going to have to drain this thing of, of oil again. Go ahead and use that. Actually, it's already drained. All right, we're going to move it back out of the way. Let me check our orders. No R35s coming in. So let me pull this... Let me pull this oil pan off. Hold on a second. Was it was it right there our whole time? I was gonna say, I've checked every other piece of this car out. This that's that's it. Crankshaft bearing cap right there. That is not good. We've got three of them. We've got three. Okay, so I, I I'm gonna be honest with you. I hadn't read the customer's description until just recently, like during this episode. And I guess, I mean, that's that's obviously gonna be gonna be a big deal for us. That's it. The three crankshaft bearing caps. I'm going to add three of those. We're going to sell three. Oh my goodness, dude. I cannot. I actually kind of feel low key like a mechanic right now. Like I actually just figured that out. It was deep in the, um, deep in the engine compartment here, deep in the block. And we were able to figure this out just based off of our intuition. Not like I said, I don't, I don't repair cars at all. At all. So, I mean, don't give me too much credit. But I was just thinking, like, what what could bang? What's moving like that? Obviously, the uh, the engine is is moving like that. Where's the the last one? Where's the last? Oh, right here. The bearing cap, huh? So we're gonna be able to throw these back on. Then we're gonna throw the oil pan back on. We're gonna have to remember to put oil back in it. We gotta get the wheels and tires and everything else back on. I think we might be missing a couple of pieces. We're just gonna hope for the best. Gotta get these these tires on here, dude. I I I can't believe we actually figured figured this out. I can't even speak. I'm so excited right now. I am sad. I think the R35 might have to wait until later. I don't know if we have to get to be higher levels. I don't know if we have to get to be you know maybe you find it in a barn find or maybe you have to buy it from a dealership or something like that. But I I, I mean I've I've sat here for maybe. 40 minutes, just declining orders, anything that wasn't an R35, and we haven't found it yet, so um, getting sloppy with putting these things back on just because I'm excited. Let me check here. Any R35s? Nope. Going to delete all of them. Okay. So we have, uh, let me check my inventory. Is this thing missing anything? Let me, let me, let me bring it down. We definitely have to put some oil in it. So I'm going to go ahead and put some oil in the engine here. I don't... I don't know if this starter and a few of the other things, I don't I don't know if it's if it's stuff from this or if it's stuff from a previous build or or what, but we're gonna go ahead and put some oil in it and let's let's see what happens. We better make a ton of money from this. Uh, there's a throttle VB6 missing from the car. Okay. So that's gonna be that's gonna be this thing. I don't wanna sell it. I just don't I don't know where it goes. <laughs> Where's where's the throttle go? It's obviously gonna be on the side of the engine. So let me let me go to part mount. Ah, starter. Accessible from the engine bay. Throttle is accessible from the engine bay. Okay. The more you know. I mean, this thing is sick, dude. I, I love I guess this is more of a talon than an eclipse. I always really liked the eclipses. Talons weren't uh, as cool in my opinion, but um still kind of a a fun thing. Whatever happened to Mitsubishi? Are they even making cars anymore? I'm not even sure. But, uh... Alright, go ahead and put those guys on. Then we're gonna put the starter back in. I would imagine he's probably gonna need his starter. And I would imagine whatever's left in our inventory, brake caliper and cylinder, maybe not. I mean, those would, those would already be on the car. Can I... Oh my god, dude. $4,600! That is a story mission one down. Please tell me we got a GTR. We got a GTR. We got a Camaro. That's a new story mission car. Okay, so I like we're getting new cars all throughout. Maybe the R35 is going to be a story mission car. I don't know. I'm going to sell that. I'm going to sell that. I'm going to sell that. Fix body parts, change oil, and other tasks. I mean, eventually we're going to have to take this, this old school Camaro, but uh, I'm, I'm not going to yet. Holy cow. It's time to grind. We got to make some money. I mean, we've got $6,200 now, which is good, but we've we've got a lot more to go. We probably do have some some skill points here because we've been doing so much. I think I'm going to hold out. I'm going to I'm going to look into this and really kind of plan out how we're going to use those. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm going to see you guys in our next episode. Hopefully we're going to have an R35. I'm going to keep searching for it. Let's check one more time. No, old BMW. Okay, waiting for the R35. I'll see you guys later. Peace out.